And so HBO has recently announced that, that they will be bringing the TV show to, well, the, the adaptation of the former movie to a TV show this fall, and that is Westworld. Westworld is actually based off of a 1973 movie by Michael Crichton, which he actually directed and wrote, which I found very interesting because I was like, Michael Crichton, oh, okay, so it was a book first. No, he just wrote it as a movie. Okay. You know, he, 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 that's how he rolls. That's how he rolls. But the, the HBO will be adapting this to a TV series. Now, the premise of this TV series is that there is this huge theme park, let's call it. And in this theme park, there are three different sets of worlds. Think about Disney World with the Magic Kingdom, MGM Studios, whatever they have. You know, the what are, Tomorrowland, whatever. I, I don't know what the, the Disney parks are, but imagine that type of setup. Now, one of these worlds is Roman-themed, one of these worlds is medieval-themed, and one of these worlds is, you guessed it, West-themed, as in the old American West. Now, these po parks are populated by a bunch of androids that are fully autonomous. They look identical to re regular humans. They interact with humans just like a regular human would. And they're kind of put there for fun. So this is more of an, an adult playground. You pay a huge fee, and you get to go hang out there for a day or two or three, however long you want. Now, so the plot, the movies is surrounded these two guys who need to take a break. They decide they're going to go to Westworld. Well, they get into Westworld and they're having a great time. They're in there. They're doing gunfights. There's actually this one programmed android that will pick a fight with you on purpose so that he can call you out and you can have a, a showdown at high noon. And, hmm. you know, it, it's, it's their safety protocols involved so that nobody, no real human gets killed. But you can kill the android every day and it'll come back every day to pick a fight with you again. So these guys are having fun in the park. And now one of the and stuff starts to go a little bit wrong. They said that one of the things that went wrong is one of the uh, I want to say it was one of the, like the prostitutes in the saloon turned down somebody's advance towards them. And that's like against their program. So that was weird. And then the robotic snakes started biting, biting people. And that was kind of weird. Well, things devolve and everything goes haywire. All the robots programming goes out of the window and they turn on them. They find this out by one of the main two guys, and now I'm not spoiling anything because this is literally in the very first paragraph of the synopsis, gets killed by the gunslinger. And mm. then the movie pretty much follows the other guy who went into the park running from this gunslinger who actually has some sort of tracking program installed in him. So he's a really good tracker. Good thing to have in an android, I guess. And he has to run throughout the rest of the worlds, dodging the rest of the androids that are malfunctioning and getting away from this one main gunslinger. So that's the synopsis of the show. Now, this is um, being executive produced by J.J. Abrams. So he's big into it. I believe his production company, Bad Robot, uh, is doing a lot of the production. But it will be coming out on HBO. So we're going to find, probably have a really good one. I think this is HBO getting ready for Game of Thrones to go off the air. They want some other new epic set piece drama type thing. And this is a great setting. Sounds like a crazy good idea. I'm surprised that I've never seen Westworld the movie because I haven't. It just sounds like an awesome movie. And, and, you know, I'm excited to see this TV show. It just looks like a lot of fun. I mean, it has a lot of cool things. The fantasy of being able to go to a world with androids and just do whatever you want seems like such a great time. And then just to flip that on its head and it become, you know, from heaven on earth to like hell on earth. You know, it's it just it's a really cool idea. And it, it is something I think that they could extend out for a couple episodes, even a couple seasons. I don't know. I don't know. I think the seasons might be going a little far but but it is a cool idea and there there is obviously if they have enough to this world and if they really want to expand and do the other worlds there's there's a lot there um i would say too it's it's see it's like a fun idea it's not a terribly unfamiliar idea to me but i think that's probably well, i because... mean the whole ai going crazy thing is something that's been done to death and that's kind of what this is but it's a little bit different it's not well, a faceless computer it's faces on a computer I, I know i'm I'm just thinking i bet there's a lot of sci-fi that i've seen that's probably taking cues from the original because yeah. the original was like what like back in the 50s 60s no like 70s 70s, 70s. It's long enough ago that it's probably been influenced up but I, I, it reminds me of like uh next generation holodeck um mm -hmm. goes wrong episodes. that's true and that happened like what once a season for star yeah. trek next generation exactly. so um, yeah. and, and there was also an episode of sliders like that, where they got to an amusement park and things start kind of going wrong. Um, 
the twist there was a little bit different, but still, you know, similar idea. You go to mm-hmm. a, a themed, uh, violent uh, shoot 'em up uh, theme park that you think everything's safe, and it turns out things aren't. You know, whatever. Um, but so I've seen stuff like that, but it's still it's a, it's a cool idea. It hasn't been done to death. That's no, for yeah, sure. yeah, exactly. It's all along the vein of stuff we've seen, but it's a unique enough environment. I mean, because like I said, he's not only it doesn't sound like he's only confined to the West World. He will be going to the Rome World and the Medieval World too. Yeah, that, so that seems to make it pretty interesting too, especially if you get the the gut the gunslinger following him through mm-hmm. a medieval. And so he'll world. the gunslinger will be a- interacting with the Romans and the medieval people too. It sounds like. And it just, it seems like a really cool idea. And, and I do say I you could I could see it going out a couple seasons because you could start with the people in Westworld and then you could just say next season, okay, it's just a different group of people who entered Rome world at the same time or medieval world at the same time. And, and you could have parallel stories going on that wouldn't necessarily run into each other. So you can definitely separate the seasons, but you can start them in different places or have one take place more here or one play take place more there. So it, it, it will be interesting. I am really excited. Now, it does have a pretty cool cast. Ed Harris is in it. Anthony Hopkins is in it. James Martin is in it. So it does look like they have some big-name actors ready and rearing to go. Hopefully, we'll also get our throw-in of... Uh, there's certain HBO people, like actors, that just show up on all, all HBO shows. Not all, but a lot of HBO shows. So hopefully, we'll get some of those people thrown in there to, to kind of round everything out. But it, I just I think it's a cool idea. And, you know, it's kind of a fantasy of mine, you know, to, to go into a world populated by androids and, you know, hey, if I want to do a gunslinger fight, fine, no problem. I can kill this robot or, you know, if I want to go sword fight somebody in medieval times or if I want to go play as yeah. Caesar, it just sounds like a really cool idea, you know, and I'd like to see how it turns out on the screen. And I'm glad HBO is doing this. Now, if you told me like a regular network TV shit channel was doing it, I probably wouldn't be too excited. HBO doing it, Netflix doing it, you know, along those lines, I, I know I'm going to get top tier quality. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, but hit us up. Let us know what you think. Have you seen the original movie? Is it worth making into a TV show or is just the idea you haven't seen it and you are really enthralled by the idea or not enthralled by the idea? If you want to put negative stuff, go for it. <laughs> um, but hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Where's My Face on Twitter. Google Plus, Facebook. Always good ways to get in the hole.